Hello everyone, this is Simon Max one If you're watching me on my YouTube channel, please go ahead and hit the red button below and subscribe. Uh, if you're watching me on Facebook, uh, that's great. Uh, today, uh, I'm bringing you basically another quick tutorial uh, in regards to a software that I use called Smart Photo Editor. Uh, as you notice, uh, if you subscribe to my channel, I had done a first video in regards to landscaping using this program. And if you don't know me, I'm basically a professional uh, artist and painter uh, and also a photographer. I've moved away from weddings and I've gotten into more portrait photography. I love that style of it. And this is one of the programs that I use daily for my clients or quick photo editing besides the Photoshop uh, or Lightroom. Okay, uh, so today I figured I'd do a, a, a quick uh, video in regards to a portrait uh, setting on this program and how to use it. Um, so without further ado, uh, I'm also going to leave the link below in the description to have you check out this program. Uh, I just want to let you know that I'm not paid by Smart Photo Editor or sponsored by them. I wish I was, but I can tell you I'm not. I just love the program and love the effects that it has. Also, if you notice on my screen, on my desktop screen, is a picture of my last trip to uh, Vegas. Uh, this is a picture I took um, standing in the middle of the street of New York, New York. And this effect is also was done in Smart Photo Editor. So uh, I just want to let you know that this program is amazing. I've used it for the last three years um, and I've had not one single problem with it. Okay. The effects keep getting more and more. And what's great is every time you log out, it updates all the effects. So if there's anything new, anything old, uh, it's going to get updated. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Okay. So here's the icon down here below. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click it. And as you can see, it loads up pretty fast. I'm not going to go through all the buttons here, what it does. I'm just going to show you what's going on here and how I do my workflow for like a portrait. So I'm going to go ahead and load the image. Uh, I have an image of a model that uh, flew in from Chicago to do this uh, photo shoot with me. So now if your photo um, uh, comes in like horizontally, uh, there's a little button here to rotate it. Just go ahead and hover over it and it gives you the option of what you want to do. So go ahead and hit this uh, last button right here and rotate it. Okay. So now that we have this, uh, this is just a plain uh, picture of the model. Her name is Florida and um, it's just the way it came out of the camera. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit the effect gallery here. And once you do that, uh, you can see there's 12 effects to each page, but uh, we can hardly see them because they're so small. So what you want to do is basically go ahead and hit this grid view down here so we can bring it up in, in a little bit bigger. Now, if you have and been using Smart Photo Editor, that's great. You probably know all this, but for those of you who just stumbled on this video, this is a great program and I just want to kind of explain as I'm going along. So just uh, So just bear with me if you do have this program. Uh, okay, now uh, what I want to let you know is each program is named, uh, not the program, but each effect. And it's also uh, has a uh, name of the person who actually came up with the, uh, with the effect. There's a little button right here in the lower right hand corner. If you own the program, you can click it, go ahead and, and, um, and work on an effect. And once you do it, you save it and you actually submit it to Smart Photo Editor and it becomes part of the package, which is great. I have three effects that are already in here, uh, but we're not going to go into that. So now, uh, how are we going to make this picture better? So the first thing I want to do is hit this contrast realistic uh, effect that's done by Tony. And um, once you do that, uh, I'm going to show you this is before and this is with the effect. Now, once I like the effect, I'm going to hit confirm and it brings the picture with the effect already in it which is great. So now I'm going to show you another effect that I do. Uh, now this is uh, obviously feel free to be choosing any effect that you, you would like. Uh, don't just follow my, uh, my lead. I'm just showing you some of the work that I do for a client. Now if you want to have fun, just go ahead and, and put any effect you like. Uh, now the next uh, effect I want to do is basically it's like a postcard look. Um, 
and sometimes they move away from the page that you're used to is because the more effects they add uh, it throws back the effect to another page um, so just bear with me here I'm gonna find it for you um, yes here it is right here now this is the uh, uh, the postcard effect I kind of like that uh, for like a model or a magazine shot or kind of a grunge look um, it's great kind of artistic uh, look now if you're happy with this effect just go ahead and hit the file and save as a JPEG or a TIFF file anywhere on your computer and you're done if you're not happy with this effect uh, just go ahead and hit undo here and it goes back to the last effect that you added now the other effect that I like to do is if a customer wants or a client wants uh, black and white I have various uh, different black and white, um, as you can see in here, uh, effects that I can choose from uh, besides my Lightroom uh, that I use. But uh, you can see there's so many different black and white. But there is one that I like, and I'm going to show you the difference that it makes. It's called a fine detail black and white. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to confirm it. And as you can see, the detail in here is amazing. Now, here's my original. Here's my second effect. And here's the black and white effect so hopefully this helped you out and how quickly I work with my photos and how I make them better um, just because you see something in your camera the first time and you're not happy with it there's a lot of great programs such as a smart photo editor that can make your work so much great and so much easier so please uh, check out their website in the link below and please uh, hit the red button and subscribe to simon max one check out some of my work and hopefully to bring you uh, video number three on more of this uh, great program uh, uh, for my next video and hopefully uh, leave any comments or any uh, questions you have i'll be glad to answer them so this is simon max one sam sicaria saying thank you for watching